Well, today, Elijah and I are out here at the Himes Farm. This is the place that Dan and I were turkey hunting. And we're out here for two reasons. Number one, Elijah and I have gotten into arrowhead hunting, and this is our second official arrowhead hunting trip. And the second reason we're out here is we're going to go tiny creek fishing. We got a little creek that runs over here, and uh, we just have some real light tackle and some worms, and we're going to try to tiny creek fish out here too. So we actually have already found one Native American artifact. We found a pestle, which uh, is kind of a flower actually, grinder. I found that. He thinks he found it. He did. We're going to work up and down this creek over here and we're going to hit the little holes for fishing and we're going to look for Native American artifacts. So are you ready to go? Yep. Alright. What do you got anything to say? Uh, let's go find some. Yeah, let's do it. came up on a limestone, old limestone house and here in Kansas we became a state in 1861 but they signed um, a treaty in the late 1850s that allowed squatters to come in here and start living illegally well so this would have been somewhere between 1850 to 1870 range here in Kansas. Uh, there were Native Americans in this state real up until 1870, 1877-ish. Um, they were all pushed out eventually. So we're going to take a look at this. I wonder what the history of this place is. Here's the back side. A lot of history in this, I'm sure. My man Elijah started his own YouTube channel. Whoa, down he goes. You all right? Yeah. Lucky for me, I got that right on video. Oh. <laughs> anyway, he's making a video of this trip too, and I'll link that in this video if you want to check his channel out. He started making his own stuff here. Look at that old, look at the windows there. There's windows over Yeah. There? The windows. From here, I think we're going to cut down into the creek bed. Here's our little creek, and as I said, it's a little creek. Ooh, I already see little fish swimming in that hole, too. Sweet. Like I said, we found that pestle, but we are brand new to this arrowhead hunting thing. And we don't really know what we're doing that much. So if I was a betting man, I'd say we won't find one. But we're going to give it a shot. So I think we're going to check this rock bed here for a little bit. so hard to find arrowheads. I mean, good grief, there's like millions of rocks here and we gotta find the little arrowheads. How do those guys do it on the interweb? They get them all the time, Elijah. Yep. And it's like, there's billions of rocks in here and I'm supposed to find a little arrowhead, which I really wanna find. Man, I mean, seriously, you gotta look all over the ground and find that one dumb little arrowhead. I mean, how many arrowheads do we think are in this creek? Yeah, well, they're awesome arrowheads, but... I mean, man. And this creek goes on and on and on and on, and we gotta find... Mm -hmm. I can barely find my keys in my own house, Elijah. How in the world am I supposed to find arrowheads in this creek? Yeah, you gotta be expert at that. I oftentimes lose my wallet and go days without being able to find it. And I'm supposed to come out here and find an arrowhead? But I do want to find them, and I do love being out here, but if I'm being honest, I'm not that optimistic about finding them. But we just gotta keep looking and keep trying, and eventually we'll run it. When we found that pestle, 
Or Elijah did. I think he's the one that's going to find one because he's awesome at finding things. Man, I suck at finding stuff. I suck at finding stuff, seriously. In my own house. How am I supposed to find an arrowhead? Elijah will be the one to find one. He's good at it. All sorts of clay in here. He's hiding. I'll go down and grab him. Is he alive? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's alive, all right. Where'd he go? Um, <laughs> well, should we stop here and build a fire and make a little home base here? What we could do is make a little home base and then work up the river and leave the majority of our stuff here and then come back. What do you think? Sure. Mm. Sounds good. This is going to be a home base. Yeah. Alright, home base it is. So we're going to cook up a little something. And... Oh well. We have stopped here. I got crap in my boots. Uh, mud all over my hands. It's a messy deal, Elijah. Yep. And we have not found any place that looked even remotely good enough to put a hook, fishing hook into. All we needed is a fish that big, and we're seeing little tiny ones. But we have found a couple of interesting things. This thing right here. Let me get closer. There's that little crater in there. Yeah. Weird. It's kind of a little line. And then that right there, so it kind of looks like a face right here. Yeah, so we have no idea what would have created that. I don't know. It's weird looking. And then this also kind of weird looking. So I don't know. Can nature do that? Ugh. I don't know. But I thought that was pretty cool looking anyway. So we're going to keep it and do a little research on it. It's almost like an ear hole. I mean, it's weird. The whole thing's weird. So anyway, we're going to hang on to this and see. I have no, I don't know. When we find something that we think looks interesting, we keep it and then we'll research it later. But no arrowheads and no holes to fish. So, ah, that's my toe. <laughs> have soup on a fire right Eli yep so we're having a great time it is so wonderful to get out here in God's nature and not be around any other people we went down Beth and I went downtown last night and uh, went out to eat and we had a good time with some friends there's so many people there's so many people I couldn't even stand it by the time we were driving back just all the traffic and the people and the hipsters at the time that we were driving back I literally felt like physically ill I told Beth that I think that I'm allergic to city folk oh man I don't know being out here today is music to my soul There's some... I've got southwest chicken and Elijah's guaranteeing my, my chicken's gonna be dry for some reason why do you think my chicken's gonna be dry it's in liquid well I said, no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Why do you think that? It's in, like, it's sitting in a bunch of liquid. Why would it be dry? Because I've had something like that. It looks like that chicken on that cover. And it was really dry. That know? one time you had it, it was dry? Yeah. And because you had dry chicken one time, then my, my chicken's going to be dry no matter what? There's something in life that's called a sample size, Elijah. Do you know what sample size is? I didn't say I guarantee it. I said... I think you actually did. You said it would be dry no matter what. That's kind of like a guarantee. Well, do you know what sample size is, Elijah? Do you know what sample size is? It's if you're doing research on something, you have to have a certain number of samples in order for the data to be valid enough to make a draw a conclusion. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. So do you think, do you think that your sample size of one time of chicken would be enough to draw the conclusion that mine's going to be no. dry? So no. do you want to take that statement back right now, or do you want to stick with it? I'm just going to stick with it. It might be dry, it might not. These gloves 
if you're gonna have soup over a fire, no matter how hot or cold or whatever it is, I guess how hot, these gloves make all the difference in the world, right, Weez? Mm -hmm. All right, scoot over. You're you're blocking me from my soup, and you don't want to get in the way of me and my soup. Okay. Because that would make you die. Never has a man gotten in the way of me and my soup and lived to tell the tale. All right, this is the moment of truth, Elijah. Here's my chicken. Elijah thinks it's gonna be dry from his sample size of one. That chicken's dry. <laughs>
Nice! <laughs> Ooh, hold on. This is a little different kind, I think. Well, as you saw, Elijah, I don't know. I mean, I don't think that's not a bass. It's the mouth isn't. I don't know what this is. We're going to have to look that up and figure it out. Look at him. You know, if we were hungry, these would be so delicious. Yeah. Don't well, you think? Yeah, just little oh. fish sticks. <laughs> you ready to put him back? Yeah, I'll put him back. Whoa. Oh, Minus? Cute here. little fish, man. Ooh. Get him by the mouth. All right, well, that's all I'm going to film of this hole. But, uh, man, this is fun. I'm back. This is really fun. Well, these are our two finds of the day, it looks like. I don't know if our nature can do that. And I don't know if nature can do that. I don't know. <sighs> but we're going to take those home and do a little research on them. And maybe we found something, right? Yep. If that was an artifact, today's a success. A success. Yes. Well, today's a success no matter what, because this has been super fun. And we're actually done for the day. Uh, we didn't find any arrowheads. We did find those weird looking rocks, whatever those are. But no arrowheads. But we were successful in catching those tiny creek fish, and that was fun. And obviously, um, you know, it's just awesome to be out here. So I think pretty much that's it for us for the day. Right, Elijah? Now, this is as close as we came to an arrowhead, and yeah. we don't think it is. Yeah, we don't think that's anything.